Hey, what's going on, brother? Thanks for checking in. Hey, switching things up on you today. Focusing on the skill side, have our whole outfield crew out here. Uh, about to get some work in. Division one outfield workout, here it is. Just preset, like you're uh, coming in on a ball in the outfield or just presetting here. And I'm gonna point, you're gonna open up, and then I'm gonna throw it. You go no glove and then glove. Same thing, I'm gonna tell you where to open up, except I'm gonna throw you that tweener. So you can do the plyo step back to catch it, or you can do a head turn and catch it. Hitting a relay drill. Addison's just gonna hit them off the wall. They're gonna let them go past. They're grabbing it off the wall, pivoting, and throwing through the cut. I'm the cut here on this. You guys are gonna lie down facing there. I'm gonna throw it and you guys are gonna pop up and communicate. Alright, getting into fungos now. Each of these guys are really good outfielders in their own unique way. So what I want to do is mic each of them up and have them run through uh, just one tip that they like to utilize uh, that helps them become a good outfielder. What I like to focus on is trying, whether it's a ground ball or a fly ball, just get behind it so you can get through it and throw through your cutoff man for the strongest and the best possible throw. After you preset, you run to find the baseball, get behind it and then run through it. So you have that momentum to get to your cutoff man after. Another thing I like to do for ground balls, same thing, same objective, stay behind it and come through it. You don't want to catch it back here or you're already late to your throw. A little out in front of your glove to get that good throw every time. Throw through your cutoff, right through the head. Should be a good one hop to whatever base you need it to be. I want to reach out to like the high school guys because I feel like when I was in high school, I never really uh, took care of my defense work. I never really took it seriously. But when I got to this level, at the D1 level, like you can't just rely on one like characteristic of you as a player. Like for me, hitting was my thing before I came here. And now it's like, you gotta take care of your defense work, be a well-rounded player. And me right now, I'm working on getting, staying through the ball. Like I think Austin brought this up, staying through the ball really well, stay fluid. Problem that I have usually is staying on my back of my feet too much. And uh, sometimes I get too flat-footed when I'm coming through getting ground balls and you just want to stay through everything. You just let it eat into, the, into your, your boys in the infield, the cutoffs. But what you want is one of these right here. Just get the ball, come right through. Instead of staying on, your, on the ball, the back of your feet. Something that I, I needed to work on last year was really uh, making sure that I ran two balls hard, not drifting through it. So that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to just drift to it, get lazy, because then if someone tries to run on, run on you, you're not going to be able to throw through the bag and throw them out, even make it to your cutoff guy with a strong throw. So throw me another one. So you want to get behind it, run to it hard, come through it so you're going to be able to have a chance to throw that guy out. But don't be choppy, so this is how you don't want to do it. Fielding it back here behind your body, you're gonna have to take more effort to get it here for the transfer. This is how you wanna do it. Coming through it swift in front of your body. Get that nice transfer. 
throw the guy out at the base. Full disclosure, I'm probably the worst outfielder by far on our team, but some things I do that allow me not to be a complete liability out here, there's really two main things, all right? So the first one, everybody tries to get a fast reaction off the bat, like in a game, as soon as the ball's hit, they try to cheat to one side, get a fast reaction. For me, I'm not good enough to get a jump like that, so I wait, I just wait a hair longer. I track it off the bat for a good like 15, 20 feet after he makes contact, and then I make my move so I'm not over pursuing to it. Because a lot of times I get in trouble, he hits a ball, I hear it, I run in and shoot, it's over my head now. Just allowing the ball to travel an extra 30, 15, 30 feet, uh, just gives me a better jump in the outfield. I may not be able to get to the ball in the gap as quick as somebody else, but it's gonna help me make up for it getting those routine ones. Second thing I like to do is simply cheat to my strong side. I'm good going forehand, so if I'm playing left field, I'll just hug this line and then open up preset to my left. So now everything to my right, it may be a foul ball or I'm comfortable to get to it so I can just hear if it's to my right, just pivot, get to it here. I have shorter range, shorter uh, territory before it comes foul. If I'm over here, preset open to my left, now a ball in the gap, all I gotta do is kick back. I make every play forehand now. Hit some fungos, call it.